Hello friends, welcome to GT Science Tutorial. In this video, I am going to explain about adsorption isotherm. Adsorption isotherm is a very important topic in surface chemistry. Adsorption isotherm gives us the information about the adsorption phenomenon. So what actually happens in adsorption isotherm and how do we know the adsorption isotherm for different substances? So in this video, we are going to see about uh, adsorption isotherm completely. So let's start. First of all, we need to understand about extent of adsorption. Extent of adsorption. So what is actually extent of adsorption? Let us understand this by a figure. Okay. Suppose this is a solid having a mass 1 gram. Okay. Its mass is 1 gram. Now, if some gas molecules are adsorbed on it, okay, then the uh, amount of gas molecule adsorbed on that surface is called extent of adsorption. So its definition is the amount of gas molecules adsorbed adsorbed on the surface of on the surface of unit gram unit gram of solid okay is called is called extent of adsorption extent of adsorption so this is its definition the amount of gas molecules uh, adsorbed on the surface of unit gram of solid is called extent of adsorption here unit gram means 1 gram of solid okay now this is denoted by x by m x by m this x denotes amount of gas and this m denotes the mass of the substance okay so this is the denotation of extent of adsorption now let's see uh, what actually adsorption isotherm is extent of adsorption extent of adsorption that is denoted by what x by m depends on pressure as well as temperature okay so if we put temperature constant if we put temperature constant then x by m depends on depends on pressure only right so if we vary pressure then we get different value for extent of adsorption that is x by m okay extent of adsorption is the amount of gas adsorbed on the surface of unit gram of adsorbent okay now then if we vary this then we get different value for this then we can plot that okay so the plot or curve the plot or curve between sorry of of extent of adsorption that is x by m against against pressure is called is called what adsorption is called adsorption isotherm isotherm so this is what exact uh, sorry adsorption isotherm is okay it is just the graph that is obtained by plotting x by m that is extent of adsorption against pressure if you vary pressure then we get different value for x by m okay now as we know what uh, adsorption isotherm actually is let's see few of the important curves that tells us a uh, different adsorption isotherm phenomenon there are five types of adsorption isotherm curve let's understand them one by one 
द फर्स्ट वन इज टाइप वन एडजन आइसोथर्म इन दिस वी गेट ए कॉर्ब लाइक दिस ओके एंड हेयर वाई एक्सिस रिप्रेजेंट्स द एक्सटेंट ऑफ एडजन एंड दिस एक्स एक्सिस रिप्रेजेंट्स द प्रेसर ओके सो दिस कॉर्ब इंडिकेट्स दैट With increase in pressure, with increase in pressure, the extent of adsorption is also increasing. Okay, to a certain point. That point is called saturation point. Okay. After that, if we increase pressure, there is no further increase in a uh, extent of adsorption. So, let me write this. This curve, this curve indicates. This curve indicates that. With increase, with increase in pressure, with increase in pressure, there is, there is increment, there is increment in extent of adsorption, adsorption to a certain point. Okay, to a certain point. Here, that point is this. Okay. After that point, after that point, there is no, there is no further, there is no further increment in extent of adsorption that is x by m. Okay, so after this point, even if we increase the value for pressure, we won't get any new value of x by m. So this type of curve is obtained in first type, sorry, type one adsorption isotherm. Okay, the pressure, the pressure at which, at which the graph, the graph, uh, let us say that breaks. Okay, the graph breaks here. If we if we say this point as breaking point because it is going up 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 and suddenly it goes right side okay that is called is called what saturation saturation pressure pressure so this is what type one adsorption uh, isotherm curve is now let's see type two adsorption isotherm. So the type two adsorption isotherm curve looks like here x-axis is again extent of adsorption and this axis is pressure. Okay, x-axis pressure and y-axis extent of adsorption, and this curve looks like this. So in this curve. In this type of curve, in this type of curve, there is increment. There is increment in x by m with pressure, with increase in pressure, with increase in pressure. Okay, and then again it goes. Uh, straight and again there is there is saturation point there is saturation point after that after that again again x by m increases increases and this this uh and this process and this process goes on and on okay you can see from here that if we increase pressure x by m is increasing to a certain point then there it reaches the saturation point and the graph moves straight then okay and after some point after some time again if we increase pressure x by m value increases okay so this type of curve is obtained when formation of bilayer trilayer or a uh, higher layer occur okay so this type of curve is obtained 
obtained when when bilayer is formed formed after monolayer after monolayer tri uh, trilayer after bilayer etc okay so this is what actually happens when uh, we uh, when we reach the saturation point that is every vacant site of that solid is occupied by gas molecule then bilayer process happens okay some new gases molecules will go and adsorb and form the bilayer formation and after that new vacant site will be created for those gas molecules and uh, after that if pressure increases more then extent of adsorption again increases so it is trying to show us that this is the formation of from here this is the formation of bilayer curve okay and this curve goes again and again like this okay this curve increases like this which shows that there will be formation of tri uh, trilayer tetralayer pentalayer like that okay so this is what type 2 adsorption isotherm is now let's see type 3 adsorption isotherm now let's see type 3 adsorption isotherm in this isotherm the curve looks like this okay this is x by m that is y axis and this is pressure that is uh, x axis so in this type of curve in this type of curve let me draw it properly okay in this type of curve we can see that with increase in pressure the value of x by m is increasing exponentially okay so this curve indicates that this curve indicates that with with increase in pressure uh, the value the value of x by m increases increases exponentially exponentially that is with a sharp change okay here it is having a sharp change and uh, this type of curve is obtained when formation of monolayer bilayer trilayer uh, and higher level occurs simultaneously at the same time okay so this type of curve is obtained is obtained uh, is obtained when the formation when the formation of monolayer bilayer trilayer trilayer etc occurs at the same time at the same time or simultaneously okay so this is what type 3 adsorption isotherm is now let's see type 4 and 5 adsorption isotherm collectively the type 4 adsorption isotherm looks like This is x by m y axis pressure x axis and this looks like this okay and the type 5 adsorption isotherm looks like this is x by m and pressure and it's it looks like this okay this is not straight line but this is curved line okay so this is for a uh, four and this is for what five okay so we get this type of curve when uh, we are talking about type 4 and type 5 adsorption isotherm and we get this type of curve when we talk about a solid or the adsorbent having small holes that is pores or capillaries okay if there is small small holes or capillaries in the solid or the adsorbent we get this type of curve as the adsorption isotherm so this type of curve this type of curve is obtained is obtained when 
the adsorbent when the adsorbent has has small pores pores or capillaries capillaries small pores or capillary means small small holes okay where the uh, gas molecule can go inside so we get this type of curve so today we studied what uh, extent of adsorption is what adsorption isotherm is what uh, what are the five types of adsorption isotherm curve so that's all in this video i hope you understood everything and if you like the video please share this video as much as you can thank you for watching the video